Most people think you can't make a good looking AI music video for free, but I'm going to prove that you can with one simple workflow that costs nothing. Because I've created this entire AI music video completely for free, allowing me to save hundreds of dollars on premium tools. Now, to be honest, is it going to be the best music video on the planet? No, but you can actually create something impressive that you would share on social media without spending a single dollar. I found this method because most tutorials out there assume you have unlimited budgets. So I've tested every major free AI music video workflow and I found a free stack that produces consistent usable results. Free tools usually create terrible quality, weird faces, broken motion and bad lip sync. But I'll show you the exact five step system I use including song generation, image generation, image to video generation, video lip syncing and post production. This allows you to test ideas before spending money. So let's start with step number one, creating the song. If you already got your own song then you can skip to the next step but for the song creation i'm going into suno ai and i've linked all the free tools in the description so you can follow along suno allows me to create a full song with a simple prompt i just add the style of my music video here and let suno create the lyrics automatically tailored towards that style but you could also of course add your own lyrics if you want then i click create and i get a few different song options that i can choose from and download for free don't just pick the first one blindly actually listen to both options i've had times where the second version had better Better vocal clarity or a stronger hook and if I hadn't checked I would have missed a much better foundation for my video the difference between options can be significant especially in how the vocals sit in the mix okay so this means we can go to step number two the image generation which is important because this will be the base of our final video first I'm going to create the main character for this I open design AI and go to text to image under the creation tools design has free image generation credits which is enough for me to create all my base images before you click generate make sure you set generation mode to H this uses more credits but this is your main character so you want the face to look clean and consistent low quality character images create inconsistent results later when you try to animate them this step saves you time and frustration down the line I will paste my character prompt that will generate my wrapper as you can see the prompt is detailed to describe a close-up portrait of a male street rapper with sharp confident eyes in a worn urban outfit with a hoodie chain light beard and having a dim moody lighting graffiti background now generate the image and if you like the result save the character. This will be used as the main face of the music video. The most important principle here is using one consistent character image. That allows every scene to look consistent. If you generate a new face every time, the video falls apart visually. Next, go to AI tools inside design and open the instant storyboard tab. Upload the character image you just created and now you can start generating each additional scene one by one using specific prompts. As you can see here, I use the following prompts to create these images. The prompts don't need to be extremely complicated. Just just make sure to keep them consistent and give clear direction. Less fluff actually helps the AI understand your generation much better. Most people overcomplicate their prompts. They add too many adjectives and conflicting details, which confuses the model. Keep it focused. One clear subject, one clear action or mood, and one clear environment. That's it. The cleaner your prompt, the more predictable your result. After generating each image, upscale it using 2x upscale for maximum quality. Save each final upscaled scene before moving to the next one. Here's why upscaling matters. Grok handles motion naturally from static images, but low resolution inputs create blurry motion. Upscaling before video generation keeps the final output sharp. So with my one main character and seven scenes, these images can now be used in any AI video generation tool to create a complete music video flow. For the video creation, I will be using Grok AI. On the left sidebar, select Imagine. Upload the first image you created earlier in design. For each image, you'll paste the corresponding prompt and generate the video. Repeat this process one by one for all scenes. But here's what really matters. Only use prompts in Grok when the motion needs to be explicit. Otherwise, let auto motion do the work. If a scene doesn't require Require a specific action, you can simply upload the image and let Grok auto animate it without writing a prompt. It already analyzes the image extremely well and often produces smooth, natural motion on its own. This saves time and still gives great results. Simple movements work way better than complex ones. Don't try to make your character do elaborate choreography or fast motion. Think gentle head turns, subtle gestures, slow camera pushes. The AI handles these naturally. When you ask for too much, you get morphing and glitches that ruin the shot. But I'll just show you two prompt examples to demonstrate how to use prompts in Grok. For the main character singing, the prompt is he is singing a rap song with small, soft and smooth movements. As you can see, I'm keeping it very simple here. Now for the graffiti spray scene, I'll go a bit more detailed and say, the man in the beige hoodie and black jacket is actively spraying a burst of bright blue aerosol paint onto the colorful graffiti brick wall. We see the paint mist exiting the can 
and his arm moving in controlled sweeping motions to add to the artwork. The purple atmospheric smoke hangs in the background of the narrow brick alleyway. The lighting is diffused, highlighting the texture of the wall and the spray. Now I have created these other videos with the following prompts in Grok. And after Grok generates each video, save and download the clip. Ensure all seven scenes have been generated in 16 by 9 cinematic motion. The result is clean, stable character shots and smooth cinematic motion across multiple scenes. Grok's strength is in natural motion from static images. It doesn't try to invent complex actions. It just adds life to what's already there. That's why the upscaling step mattered so much. So now we're ready to lip sync the clips. And people often think free tools can't handle lip sync. Now, like I said earlier, paying hundreds of dollars will give you the best results. But a free tool like LipSync.video can still deliver surprisingly solid results. So once you're in, you'll need to decide which clips you actually want to lip sync. I don't sync every clip because I like my music videos to have a mix of lip sync shots and pure vibe shots. Next, you need to cut the selected part of the song so that its duration matches the exact length of the video scene you've chosen. Make sure the audio is saved as an MP3 and the video as an MP4. The most important step here is making sure the audio and video durations match perfectly before you upload. If they don't match, you'll just end up wasting credits. Then open lipsync.video. The platform automatically gives you 50 free credits. One credit equals one second of generated lip sync video. Using only one or two lip sync scenes preserves your free credit allowance. Since credits are limited, always double check your cuts to avoid wasting seconds. One scene of lip sync equals a few seconds, which equals a few credits. Plan this carefully, but if you sign up to the app, it gives 300 credits. Then upload your video clip to the video section and upload your cropped MP3 audio to the upload audio section. Click generate and wait for the lip sync to render. Go to my creations to preview the result. And if you're satisfied, download the final lip sync clip. The app supports up to 90 seconds, but shorter clips produce cleaner, more accurate lip sync results. Keep your edits tight and precise to ensure the best final quality. If the timing is off, it's usually because the audio and video lengths didn't match. Double check timing before uploading. Now bring everything into a free video editor such as CapCut or Canva. Import all video clips, including the Grok animated scenes, lip sync clips, and the full music track. Place the music track on the timeline as a separate audio layer first. This ensures all video clips sync correctly with the beat and timing. Then drag all scenes onto the timeline above the music layer. Place each video in the correct order based on your storyline. Insert the lip sync clips exactly at the timestamp where the lip sync portion of the song begins. With this workflow, I created this final result. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, these streets talking, whispers, shadows stalking, every corner a gamble, a hustle, a scramble, survival my mantra, ain't no time for preamble. Concrete jungle, yeah. So we just went from a single static image to a fully animated cinematic AI music video all inside one workflow. A full music video created with zero cost using four free tools. This isn't about making cool AI videos. It's about replacing weeks of production with a process you control in minutes and the ability to test your ideas for free. Now, yes, all great free workflows rely on stacking multiple tools. You can't expect one tool to do everything, but this free stack rivals what many paid tools do in one place. Test this workflow with your own song and your own character. All the links are in the description. I've tested dozens of tool combinations and this is the first free workflow that actually holds up visually. Every tool is strong at one specific task, which is why the final result is not perfect but surprisingly polished. Once you understand this, you can create unlimited music videos by iterating scenes and switching characters. These free tools remove cost barriers so creators can practice until they're ready to upgrade. This lets you produce full music videos today without waiting for a budget or expensive all-in-one tools. Creativity scales when you remove friction. Free tools are no longer a limitation, they're a start point. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.